I come from Nyanza yes. in Siaya, yes. uh, a place called Aboke. Yes. Yes. That's where I was born and grew up yeah. until uh, in uh, secondary school when I left to yeah. come to Nairobi. In a family of how many people and how was life like while you were growing up? Our family, you know, I have two families. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. There's my father's family. Yes and my mother's family. Mm -hmm. So those are two different mm -hmm. numbers. Yeah. So to my mother, mm -hmm. we are a family of six. Yes. To my father, we are a family of 30. Mm -hmm. Yes. How was life like for you and your child number? In what sense? While you were growing up, I yes. understand some people have their own challenges. Some had to walk to school barefooted. How was it for you? Ah, I was in between. Mm -hmm. I wore my first shoes when I was going to form one. Yeah. Yes. You wore? So I wore. I you got I got my first, first shoes. First shoes. When you were going to form, <laughs> form one. That means the, uh, the, the primary education was, was barefoot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does it mean that your family was not so well up? No, I think our schools, we were not even allowed to wear shoes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why? Because I think was to equalize uh, those who are from poor families and those who are so our uniform did not include shoes. shoes. Yeah. Then. Yes. And while you were going to form one, that is when you got your first pair of shoes that you got to wear it in school. Yes. What was in your mind while you were growing? Some of the pictures you have while you were growing up in the family of the teen people. Our, our family was a very close-knit family, yes. uh, uh, still is. So we basically grew up as one happy family, if I put it that way. Yeah. Until I went to school in Form 1 and began to talk with other children from other homes and particularly from polygamous homes mm -hmm. and they were talking about how difficult yes. it is to grow up in a polygamous home mm -hmm. and so on. And it was so strange to me because I never experienced some of the things they were talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, we grew up in a, as a, in a polygamous home, but a very united home. home. Mm -hmm. uh, so some of those things of people fighting between stepbrothers and sisters, uh, stepmothers fighting one another. I never saw that. Your family, your father kept the family so intact. We were all intact. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were all. And and my elder brothers and sisters, yeah. who are much older than I was, yes. uh, were the ones who ensured I went to school. They paid my school fees. Mm -hmm. uh, my mother was a third wife, uh, and I was the firstborn. But it's my brothers who paid my school fees and then she had your, I got your to step brothers. Step brothers, yes. Yeah, yeah, they paid your school fees. Yes. And you, you're saying that you never experienced anything like disagreements in the family, like some people tell you. No. Mm -hmm. Not even up that to That was a unique Not one. even up to now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that means it was an enjoyable big family. Yeah, we were very, uh, I would say, one big happy family. That's what I would say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, small disagreements here and there yeah. that would happen in any relationship, that was okay. Mm -hmm. But that uh, this house can't talk to this house, this mother can't talk to this, uh, these children can't talk, no, mm -hmm. that, that I never experienced. Th that means it's something also you thought as a child you would emulate while you grow up. That's, I thought that is how families were mm -hmm. until I learned uh, otherwise later that uh, people fight in families. Uh, people at don't least you see learned from where? From your friends? From school? my friends mm -hmm. uh, at school, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, that's where I learned that uh, there are homes where people don't see eye to eye. Uh, people from one house don't talk to the people from the other house. And it's very strange. It was strange in my ears.